Oh, I forgot to say lemon. Oh, the lemon's great. I have to make my juice ahead today. Aunt Sarah's coming over. She's hurt her knee and she has, and I'm gonna get that um, kale chip recipe in the dehydrator before she gets here. I'm gonna start with that a whole avocado and I'm just gonna do it in the blender right quick. Um, I've never really tried this recipe before because uh, it's whatever you have on hand is what you use. So um, I'm using avocado. A little bit of lemon juice. I figure that's like fat and oil for a dressing. I don't know. I'm throwing in a tomato because I have a bunch of them. And a red pepper flake. Because this is Texas and we like things hot. And it'll be so good on a crunchy chip to bite into something hot and spicy. And uh, over at our farmer's market we have a, a local lady who uh, grows her own olives and makes her own olive oil. So this is local Texas olive oil. I'm gonna put just a splash in. Just a splash. So it's, um, it's got a cute logo on it and everything. <laughs> All right, let's put the top on and see if that makes something liquidy enough to, to spread on those chips with. Well, probably have to turn the blender on. Here we go. I've washed the kale chips, or the kale. Got a little bit more water out. Spin them dry. And now it's kind of important that you massage um, the sauce into the chips before you put them on the dehydrator. Woo! This is like having your chip and your dip all in one, one go round. When it's dehydrated, it all will stick to the chip and um, it'll be so good while we're watching our TV show. So, there's nothing to do but get in there with your hands and get them all gunky. And this, it kind of softens the chips too and breaks them down just a little bit. It comes in with the tomato, avocado, and spices I put in there. There was a lot of garlic in that spice Fiesta spice blend I use, so that makes it so good. All right, those look pretty good. So next I get uh, my dehydrator sheet, and it's got a, a mat on it so the goo doesn't go through. So if you just take your chips and you spread them out, Put these in the dehydrator and when they get to looking like chips you take them back out. It might take um, three or four hours I suppose. We'll start with uh, about two hours and check them. They're so good when they come out. They're so, this is that curly kale so I have to take out every other tray to let them fit in there but here we go. Okay, here's a down quick and dirty Texas uh, sc juice scrap cracker recipe. As long as I've got the dehydrator going anyway, no use to having eight empty shells. I've taken my blender from making my um, dressing for the kale chips and I am going to grind up some chia seeds. Matt Marks, chia seeds! What I've done is I have taken half my pulp and ground it up with some chia seeds and I did go ahead and add a cup and a half of water, a tomato and an onion, and I'm gonna put some extra, another quarter of a cup of chia seeds in with the, um, the rest of the pulp. And I'm gonna put another cup and a half of water in here and let the whole thing kind of soak for about an hour or so. It's kind of like soaking your seeds, but kind of on steroids because you're soaking it with vegetable juice instead of just water, mostly. Mostly. And then I'll have a cracker uh, recipe ready to go on the dehydrator. See you in a minute.